We are on the banks of the Ganges, a major river in the Indian subcontinent. It's sacred to millions of Hindus who worship it as the goddess Ganga. Here in the plains of Uttar Pradesh, the mighty river flows gently downstream. Its journey of over 2,500 kilometers stretches from the Himalayas to the Bay of Bengal. Today, the Ganges is highly polluted and its river basin is the most crowded in the world. This pollution is seen everywhere in Kanpur. The city of four million people sits on the southern bank of the Ganges. Every day and night, the city discharges large volumes of untreated sewage and industrial waste into the Holy River. These waters are full of pathogens and hazardous chemicals. Raspati is 75 and has lived here all her life. In her younger days, she used to work as a farmer. She has noticed another change about the river. Her neighbors are grappling with the same problems. One of them is Sunil Nishad who grows wheat and flowers. He must use whatever water he can find. Sunil and other residents know how unsafe this water is, but they have no choice. This water that we use in the garden and for drinking, when farmers can't find enough surface water, they use tube wells to pump out groundwater. But that has its own limits. It seems as if South Asia's farmers can never have enough water. In South Asia, about 90, 95% of the water is used for agriculture sector, which is higher than world average of 70%, and which is much, much higher than the average of industrialized countries. In a world running short of water, such extravagance can't continue. This is one message coming out of a new study commissioned by the UN Environment Programme. The report also suggests some solutions. A high yielding varieties, improving the irrigation water management, technological interventions which can bring or improve the water use efficiencies, and also producing high value crops, for example would increase the productivity in economic terms. South Asia is home to over 1,500 million people, a quarter of the world population. But it has only one twentieth of its freshwater resources, and even that water isn't often available where or when it's most needed. This poses huge challenges for managing water resources. It's made harder by widespread poverty. In South Asia, we have about 500 million people living one dollar a day. So to them, accessibility to fresh water is survival issues. The UNEP study assessed the vulnerability of water resources in three South Asian river basins those of the Ganges Brahmaputra Meghna River complex, the Indus River, and the Helmand River. 
All three rivers flow across national borders. It found that millions of people already face increasing water scarcities because of growing human numbers, economic activity and pollution. And now, climate change is set to make matters worse. Many rivers flowing across the Indian subcontinent originate in the Himalayas, which serves as Asia's water tower. But the climate there is changing fast. Due to rising temperatures, the Himalayan glaciers are melting. But if there is no glaciers in Himalaya, then what will happen? There will be no water flowing from the Himalaya, not only in the summer, but winter and throughout the year. That will have a great impact on the rivers in South Asia, Asian countries. Meanwhile, some glacial lakes in the Himalayas are swelling fast. Their natural banks of rock and soil can breach under the growing pressure and weight of water. Experts worry that this can trigger devastating flash floods that wipe out everything downstream. The people of Bedding are living in the shadow of this potential disaster. This Nepali village is close to the Shorolpa glacial lake. It has been formed in the past 40 years by the meltwater from the Tradkardin glacier. <laughs> If the Shorolpa glacial lake bursts, it won't be just a local disaster. अब हामी मात्रै बज्ने बन्दा पनि त्यो ताल फुट्यो भने या तामाकोसी लगायत वहाँ इन्डिया बियर सम्म क्षति गर्छ भने हामीलाई त्यो सम्म छ रिवर्स फ्लो अक्रस बोर्डर्स इन गुड टाइम्स एन्ड ब्याड टु बेटर म्यानेज दिस वाटर्स द युनेप स्टडी रेकमेंड्स एन इन्टिग्रेटेड रिवर बेसिन अप्रोच व्हाट वी नीड इज अ मिक्स अफ पोलिसी इन्टरभेन्सन्स and development in the sense that we can address these issues which are coming up. South Asia's life-giving waters are reeling under many pressures. There is still a window of opportunity to harness the waters for the region's struggle against poverty. Working together, South Asian countries stand a better chance of coping with these formidable challenges.